everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if this is your first time in this neck of the woods, my name is Melissa. Welcome, join the club. Today, as you can see by the title, the thumbnail, the colours on my eyes, we are clearly playing with the newest, most controversial thing in the world, which is the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. I was actually really kindly gifted this, kind of by two people, it was an accident, but it just happened and it all worked out. So Nina and Aaliyah, who are two of my sausages, they sent me this. I want to just say something before I begin, and if you want to just skip to my normal way of introing, skip to this timestamp here. What I want to say is, I realise that Jeffree Star is very controversial. I personally don't follow him on any platform anything. I don't follow him on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I follow Jeffree Star Cosmetics though because in my experience they are some of the best quality makeup products on the market. I really enjoy them. The brand really appeals to me. The colour schemes, the quality, it's just fabulous and I know that he has done some very, very bad, very questionable things in the past, some of it like not that long ago. What I want to say is, and this goes for Jeffree Star, it goes for the beauty influencers, people in my life, friends, family members, makeup brands. I really personally hate cancel culture and and I continually buy Jeffree Star Cosmetics, for example, like specifically because of the because of what I said, I really like the quality and the brand, like what they do. But also because I have personally, as Melissa, done so many awful, shameful, embarrassing, horrible things in my life. Thankfully, pretty much none of it has been on the internet. Like I didn't get into social media heavily until like maybe four years ago, before that I just had like a private Instagram which I put cat pictures on and a Facebook that only I had friends and family on and and I'm sure like a lot of you, you feel like I do, like thank goodness so much of my life wasn't broadcast online to lots of people because I feel like if you knew some of the stuff that I've done in the past you would hate me and I'm just, I mean, I've never killed anyone or anything, but you know what I mean? I just, I've done really stupid things. I've laughed at really inappropriate things. I have shared inappropriate things. I have, you know, I've done really stupid things. And I think that in my head is why I don't boycott brands or cancel people. And I don't jump on just like the drama train of it all. Especially if that person has apologised, and I'm not just talking about Jeffree Star, but I mean in general, like even people in my life, myself, because I've done so much crap that I feel like, who am I to judge, especially if they've tried to apologise. Now obviously I can't accept Jeffree Star's apologies for his racist remarks, they're not aimed at me. Um, I'm in no position to be like, oh it's okay, you apologised. But there is a part of me that thinks, because I've done it myself, I've done really crappy things and then apologised and hoped and wanted and expected to some degree people to forgive me and they have. So that is what I'm trying to say because whenever I talk about Jeffree Star products or do videos on it or whatever, I get the most like angry messages, I'm unsubscribing, you're such a so so like how could you support this and it's because i think i just look inside myself and think well if people held you accountable for all of the stupid things that you've done in your life and all the bad things you've done in your life and all the horrible things you've done in your life then i would have nobody and no friends and no family because i've been a bit of a a dick in the past it's i can't deny it and yeah i just support jeffrey star cosmetics I don't follow him, like I said, I don't engage with him in any way, but that's just what I have to say. I don't know if that's just hugely rambly stupidness and I'm going to regret saying all of this, but it goes for everyone, not just Jeffree Star. I like to 
see the best in people and I accept an apology or accept that somebody's changed hoping that that is the case so yeah that's what I have to say about that and I'm not very eloquent with my words even though I read a lot but I hope you get what I'm trying to say and it's not again just about Jeffrey Star it's about everyone friends family brands political people anyway after saying all that if you've never been here before when I review a new palette I am going to swatch the whole palette for you on my arm I'm gonna do this makeup look here on my face and then I'll give you my thoughts on the palette at the very end of the video I realize I haven't even showed it yet but you've all seen it cremated palettes got a picture of Jeffrey it's like marble print on the inside which is so 2006 if you ask me it's 2016 grey and some kind of greeny greys in my opinion lots of sparkle lots of metallic lots of mattes mine's all dinged up because I've actually been using it for two days now so yeah my, my palettes never look that good for very long but yeah if you want to see me swatch it and then do this eye makeup look here and here if I think it's worth it or not then just keep on watching and just bear in mind again I welcome civil discourse and there's ways to go about trying to make your point to people without being aggressive so let's let's jump into the swatches gosh I'm actually terrified about this video here she is then the cremated palette I'm gonna swatch it just row by row and yeah I'll kind of make the swatches like I'll build them up if I need to but I'll do one swipe first so you can see as usual so let's just begin with this top row here I really, really have to jump in here and just say these feel like velvet, these feel like suede. These are the softest, most butteriest shadows to touch with my fingers and I've enjoyed touching them with my fingers. <laughs> I actually really like this bottom row in person so much more than what I've seen online but these two shades here look identical. Like they do not need to be there do they? At all. Like both of them don't need to be there. They're too similar. It's stupid, in fact. But yeah, anyway. Let's get into putting it on me face. Let's skip to me looking but ugly with no makeup on. Okay, let's get the show on the road. I primed my eyes, actually, is my EBH primer. Nice to change things up once in a while. It's very noisy outside, so I do apologize, but it's like the hottest day of ever. So people are outside. I, you've already seen this look. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna start off with 
Wednesday. My palette already looks like garbage. All my palettes do once I play with them. Um, I'm going to do just a big kind of dramatic look, I guess. Even though, do you know what? What shade did I use Wednesday? I actually have a couple of errands I need to run today. After this. People are going to look at me funny. So yeah, I tried to play with this palette yesterday. I mean, I did play with it. I did the look that I'm gonna do today, but oh my goodness, it was a struggle. Not because of the palette, just because of me. So I have some experience now with these shades. Very pigmented, as you can see. I am then just gonna pick up more of that shade and just kind of start fluffing it out. I have literally no issues with it. I mean, I rarely, rarely do, to be honest, with Jeffree Star palettes, because I do think his formula is fantastic. It's not the best formula in the world, but like, there's really, nothing wrong I don't know if it's something about greys that just blend out really well because I actually do say this in the video that I filmed yesterday which I would show you but I just deleted all the footage to make room on my memory thing memory card but I really feel like my Technic palette that I did in this video here which was two pounds like blended exactly as good as this did. I mean this palette has way more shades in it obviously <laughs> and it's about 10 million times more expensive and it has shimmers in it but like there's just something about grey that for me is really easy to blend out and I don't usually feel that way about myself like that I can blend stuff out really well. Um, then I'm gonna go in with Eulogy down here. Really kick up -y. okay this is the one yesterday yeah when I was playing with it, I was quite shocked at how kick up it was, but at the same time, that's not something that bothers me. But yeah, if you like want greys and you don't want this palette for whatever reason, and I know there's many reasons, but for whatever reason, the Technic two pound matte palette was fantastic. Like really good. <laughs> So I'm just blending that out and this is an issue, when I say, oh, I've got hair on my face, when I said earlier I've got no issues with it, I mean with the, like, the formula, it's great, it blends really well, it just does what it needs to do, but what I found yesterday, I put like seven or eight colours in this big look and I feel like there's not a huge amount of difference between them, like, I, don't, I mean you can see I've used different colours on here than on here, but at the same time, there's not very much, like, differentiation between the shades, so I did feel like I put so much effort in and it all looked kind of like I'd used two or three shades when in reality I'd used so many. I guess it could get to a point where you use too many eyeshadows, but at the same time I can do looks with 20 eyeshadows and you can tell I've used 20. Oh, I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but they all kind of fade into one. We'll see today. I'll just keep on with that same brush and take Life Insurance. Way less kick up -y than that other shade. Tuck this in the front here. We go with this ABH primer real nice. I don't usually like this primer all over my eyes, but I love it for cutting my crease. I'll take that same shade just on a bigger brush and pop it up here. I'm obviously going to deepen all of this up and extend it when my base is on. Yeah, like I put no effort into this and I know it obviously doesn't look great but it doesn't look horrifically terrible and I think that's one thing about these grey tones is that they do just blend together so well. Almost too well though. Right, I'm going to really start deepening it up now, so I'm going to go into Hearse, which is the black shade. This really impressed me yesterday with how pigmented it was. 
I had to use the black because I use black probably in most videos to add depth to looks. Imagine there wasn't a black in this palette but that would be so stupid. <laughs> this one though, it just it reminds me of my single ABH Noir which is like my favourite black. Not in the palettes but the single eyeshadow is definitely superior. And this is just like that just feels like velvet it looks like suede see it's just it's very pigmented it's just a good black eyeshadow i mean it's not like blown my mind but it's very 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 good i'm just gonna take a random brush and grave digger which is like our deepest matte gray i am going to very gently blend out the edges Say gently because I don't want to take this black too far but it's one of those shadows that you put on and you can really keep blowing it out and smoking it out it just seems to keep going and where the brush has been like rubbing on it it's not gone patchy which I feel is the sign of a good deep eyeshadow I haven't gone in with any lighter shades I've just been blending out that black with that deeper grey and that just looks so blended. It really is quite impressive. Try the Morgue, which is a shade I haven't touched yet. Very kick up This is I just feel like some of these are like kinda like some of these are like a deep kind of khaki green grey. In my eyes anyway. In my head I was gonna like avoid these kind of warmer ones but actually maybe it's just what I need to get some differentiation on my lid. I think that's worked really nicely to blend out. I don't know if you see what I mean though. Like it's just all so blended that it's there's not a whole lot of like different I don't know, I never know if I'm explaining myself right. I'm gonna use Burial Gown. Just tuck this in at the front. Okay, let's try Obituary. Pop that up here. I think I'll probably just throw my cut crease on now because realistically I'll need to just keep extending this once my base is on. Let's though, while we're here, throw diamond ashes underneath my brow. This is something else as an under the brow highlight, let me tell you. And this is just dry right now. Let's wet it. Gosh. That is so good. Yeah, this will come together as I apply my base, I hope. I'll throw my cut crease on, I'll be back. We'll fill it in. Cut crease on, kind of matching. I'm going to use Diamond Ashes. This is really hard to pick up on a brush. This is definitely a finger shade. However, I've got big sausage fingers and I would never be able to be neat enough with them. But I'm going to put this all over like the top. It's gorgeous. It's just like a wet look sparkle. I'm like really digging into it, just trying to pick some up on the brush. Some metallics just do work better with your finger. I prefer it though if I can pick it up on a brush. Just because, like I said, I've got big sausages. So it does go on, it's just better with your finger at the end of the day. It's going on well with this little brush actually. This is my Crown C527, it's this tiny little one. It's like flaky, so I keep putting it where it shouldn't be. There we go. See with your finger, it's just something else. 
so beautiful and it just packs on immediately gives you that punch oh it's just beautiful it really is I need to work on this outside edge, blend it in, do something. I might take, what shade is this? I've not even swatched it. Oh yeah, it's gotta be Paul Bearer, doesn't it? Cause that one is sick. Yeah, Paul Bearer up here, which is like the same kind of texture as the white one. And this can blend in to the white and then eventually into the black. This is one of my favourite shades in the palette. I feel like it's a really unique silver. Very, very sparkly. It's actually applying uh, a pretty darn nice with this brush as well. People will tell me, but I am not a professional. So, like, natural and synthetic brushes. Like, I don't know why one is better than the other for certain things, so... I mean, feel free to tell me, but... Just bear in mind, I ain't professional. I just... clart myself up for fun. One of my failed looks yesterday that I tried to put this all over the lid and it was just gorgina. Finger as well. Just amp it up. Picks up more of the sparkles as well. I feel like when you use your finger... Ha 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 really funny, go away. I'm gonna use, uh, oh, I should probably lift it up and show you. <laughs> Angel of Death, the very sparkly, deepest one. I can also inform you that Terence and Jim are having a barbecue tonight. I heard it through the window, you're all invited. There you go. I did wet it just to pack it on. I feel like I'll see the shimmer a lot better if I use my finger, but I just put it on the brush first. It's not like crazy shimmery though, like once applied, but it's pretty. This is going somewhere, I don't know if it's going in a successful direction. And then I'll take Mortuary Beautician. Do you guys watch Ask a Mortician as well? I very much do. Well, that's nice. That's like a more of a steel grey. Like a blue steel. Oh gosh. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Go tell it on the mountains. Over the hills and far away. Now you're going to see how much concealer I was hiding my face with. Take off all this fallout. I'm gonna obviously nip off, put my base on. Elsewise, this video would be way too long. Not actually that bad fallout, but a lot of sparkle. Oof. I get all this ABH primer off because I can never blend foundation on top of it. All right, lads, I'll be back in a sec, and we will continue. So I've got like all the vast majority of my base on, just need to do my brows really. I'm gonna go back to my palette and we're gonna play, friends, we're gonna play. I'm gonna take Last Respects. Have I used this before? I don't know. Oh, follow me. I'm just gonna really extend my eye look. This is like a real light pastel, so it is covering up some of the deeper shades, but as always, that is not a problemo. And then I'm gonna try Obituary. Just pale, I might mix it a little bit with burial gown. And this can be my lightest shades out here. And then I'll take the morgue. Really does just all blend like a dream. I'll take a bit more Last Respects and just you know, blend that here. I tried to do like a fairly strong nose contour, I don't know if you can tell. Strong but like not looking terrible. Oh, I'm just gonna like blend this into it. Because we're obviously going for the drama. Today. 
Oh, baby. Um, yeah, I think lower lash line. Might do a little bit graphic-y, like I did in my bloodlust video, just for a bit of fun. So I'll take hers, which is the black shade. And I think because there's so much going on on top, I don't want to do like a real smoked out lower lash. I'm trying heartily not to get any fallout here. Now I'll just take it like in a more of a straight line. Just like that and then I'll use a teeny tiny brush and blend that out with R.I.P. Just I don't think I've used that in this video. But like very close blending, I'm not trying to like drag it down or anything. Just because I feel like it doesn't need it. Yeah, this will be just a wee bit more interesting. And I've got this Colourpop Cream Gel Eyeliner. What shade is it? Exit, I think. Yeah, it's just covered in. Oh my goodness, look what I just did. Uh, I'll do white. I'll do two layers of that, but I'll let that dry. And then I've got this black. I've got Colourpop Graceland, which is a white liquid. And I just find this way more pigmented for drawing on the skin. To fill in that little area down there. Yeah, I think that looks a little cooler than like just if I'd done. Hold on, the pulseman's here. Where am I? Um, that's black. I'll do my second layer of white liner. I love the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliners. They really are very, very good. Um, I guess I just need to even this out. Oh, I think we're going to add gems. Hold on. Let me just do this lower lash line and then I'll come back. I'm going to use my little eBay pearl gems. Stick them on with tweezers. I'll link them below. They're really cheap. And I just felt like jazzing it up. I mean, when do I not feel like it's appropriate to just keep adding stuff to a look? That's the, that's the real question. These gems are great because there's all different sizes. This does not match on either side, but it's fine. <laughs> When does it ever always match exactly? Okay, brows, lashes, and then I'll be back. So, finished off my makeup. I'll list everything that's like important below. My hair's just my hair. Put my silver hoops in. This is the finished look. I'm actually really pretty pleased with it. Um, You know me, it's 50-50. Am I gonna like what I've done or not? But I think this looks pretty cool. I really love the pearls, obviously not part of the palette, but they're cheap on eBay if you want them. I'm very impressed by the quality, the blendability, the pigmentation. Literally, there's nothing there that I can fault. I think my biggest uh, about it is just that some of the shades are so similar once blended on the eye, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between them. The one, two, there's three mattes. Well, there's four mattes on the bottom roll. They don't all need to be there. I would keep the white one for sure. But the other ones, I mean... They just all look similar in the eye and I think just because I don't know how to explain it that doesn't sound really stupid because it even sounds stupid in my head but they all blend together so well which is a good thing but this I think what I'm trying to say is this palette could be like half the size and I'm not usually one that advocates for smaller palettes but I just feel like they are so similar in tone once you blend them in that you can't tell the difference if that makes any sense but beautiful quality presentation. I mean, I think the packaging is kind of like, what, 2016 marble? But 
you know, I like the size, it's easy to store, it's not hard. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Oh, it looks like a book, I could stand it up. I'm very pleased with it, yeah, I am. And again, a huge thank you to Nina and Aaliyah for sending this to me. I am baffled by your generosity and don't know what I've done to deserve so much support from so many different people. So yeah, let me know what you think, keep it civil. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it counts towards the same thing. Um, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you want to see my face on your screen three times a week, why wouldn't you? And yeah, I'm going to piss off, I've got another video to film and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!